Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Monday, January 4th. I'm Kelly Byrne. Meteorologist Stefano DiPietro joins us now with our forecast. Good morning, Stefano. Good morning, Kelly. It's a chilly start to our day today. We have some fog to talk about, but the roads are gradually improving. Now, we had the snow end last night, so a lot of the main roads okay so far, but still a few leftover slick spots. That should really help as we go out into the afternoon. Temperatures to the mid, upper 30s, and even near 40 today, so getting back above freezing will help lastly with those road conditions. We'll make it right near 40 today, like we were just talking about, under a mostly cloudy sky, so no real sunshine to help things along today. A flurry, snow shower, mostly very isolated, no real additional accumulation to be concerned with. We're down to 30 tonight, 36 tomorrow with another snow shower. If we were looking for any accumulation, it would only be around a coating. Then we're locked in the 30s through the remainder of this week and really just battling it out to get some sun with lows in the 20s, Kelly. Stefano, thanks for the update. Additional statewide mitigation orders that went into effect in mid-December expired this morning. Governor Tom Wolf issued targeted mitigation efforts on December 12th after a concerning surge in COVID-19 cases. Beginning this morning, restaurants and diners in the state can open back up for indoor dining at 50% capacity. Hundreds of other businesses can also reopen today. Indoor gyms and fitness facilities and entertainment venues will open their doors and youth sports can resume. Schools can offer extracurricular activities again. Masks, social distancing and occupancy orders are still in place. The cost to drive on the Pennsylvania Turnpike is now more expensive. The Turnpike Commission approved a 6% increase for Easy Pass users in June. That's now in effect. Drivers who don't have an Easy Pass and use the toll by plate program will see a hefty 45% surcharge. Cash payments were suspended and made permanent early on in the pandemic. For more eyewitness news or more on your forecast, you can head to our website right now.